Welcome to the mind-bending world of quantum biology. My name is Johnny Woodward and I'm a professor at the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Tokyo. In this course, I invite you to join me on an electrifying journey where the quirky laws of quantum mechanics meet the intricate dance of life. For decades, the quantum realm, with its superposition, entanglement, and all its counterintuitive strangeness, seemed confined to the realm of tiny, invisible particles and mind-bending experiments under highly controlled and restrictive conditions. But in recent years, the whispers of many different groups of scientists have turned into shouts, suggesting that these principles might be woven into the very fabric of life itself. Perhaps quantum phenomena are responsible for explaining some of nature's most remarkable abilities. So today, we stand on the cusp of a new era in biology. This course will equip you with the tools needed to navigate this exciting frontier, understanding both the historical context and the cutting-edge research that's rewriting our understanding of life itself. The course will be broken down into three main parts. We'll begin with an introduction to the history of quantum biology, followed by a look at the many different current research areas where scientists believe that quantum effects may be playing an important role in biological function. Imagine this, chlorophyll molecules in plants capturing sunlight but instead of acting alone, acting as a coordinated quantum network, allowing plants to harvest energy with an efficiency that classical physics can't explain. Or picture birds navigating with an uncanny sense of direction, sensing the tiny magnetic field of the Earth through the use of the correlated spins of pairs of electrons. These are just a few glimpses into the mind-bending possibilities of quantum biology. In the second part of the course, we'll get back to basics and study the key ideas in and possibilities afforded by quantum theory. I'll do my best to keep the mathematics to a minimum and focus on providing intuitive visual explanations. I think this will be useful to biology students with no background in quantum mechanics, but also to those students who've studied some basic quantum mechanics but want to get a deeper intuitive feel for the subject beyond the formal mathematics. My own research laboratory studies the quantum mechanical effects of weak magnetic fields on chemical reactions and their role in biological processes. For the final part of the course then, we'll focus on electron spin and its remarkable role in influencing chemical reactivity and the consequences for biology, particularly in animal navigation and human health. You'll have a chance to visit my laboratory and experience experiments which reveal these quantum effects in action. So why not come and join me this summer and let's share this remarkable journey together.